<laughs> I know it's around here somewhere. Yeah, this is gonna be it right here. That looks like a secret gold mine to me. Ooh, yeah. Don't it look like a secret gold mine to you too? Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna get in there. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a shot. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on, let's go. <laughs> right here. Ooh. Well, I think that's about far enough. Don't you? <laughs> All right, since we're gonna actually be doing some real mining today, we better get our safety gear on. Cause I'm not going down there without my gear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo. Okay, and I got my bag so I can fill them up with good ore. Cause I know there's gold down there. Cause Slim told me there was. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? No, you don't. I'm gonna say, don't try this at home. <laughs> but anyway, so come on, let's go. Oh man. Oh. Oh my God. Hey, what? Wow, look at that. Look at all that beautiful lavenite right in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there's these nice, beautiful pink tags in here. And they, they put those tags in here along the mineralization zones where uh, gold or silver, whatever they're mining could be. And usually the mine owners or potential uh, leases will put that in there so they can identify. So you know if you see those tags, that's where there's potential minerals at. And you can see all this limonite in here in these huge lenses. And in this particular mine, the limonite forms next to the uh, bedding planes of the dolomite, which is the limestone. So, and you can see calcite crystals all up in there. Isn't that beautiful? So I know that there's gold in there because someone came through and marked it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through here and I'm going to show you the proper way to sample this stuff. And that way you'll know if there's gold in there. I'm hoping there's a lot of gold in there too. Because you know I got to have that gold. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Oh, look at that beautiful limonite. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of veins of it right in there. Oh, you can see where they, they stoked it all out right down in here. There's an old dynamite box right there. Look at that. Okay, so. Come here. I want you to take a look at this. Okay, remember when I told you about those tags? Well, here's one right here, see that? Okay, now, see the calcite crystals and I got some formation of alkali from the water that's down here. Anyway, you can see all this beautiful looking flavonite right in there, see that? And what you wanna look for when you're sampling in limonite is where the, the lenses, they become horizontal because when you have secondary enrichment, most of that gold is going to form uh, along the horizontal bedding planes, more so than it will in a chute uh, or any type of a, um, a regular lens that's vertical. So when you go down in these mines and you see this beautiful limonite, um, always try to find ones where the, the veins always flatten out and then pull from the bottom of those veins. And I guarantee you, you're going to see gold like you never saw before. And sometimes we found even giant chunks for me, like nuggets. So what am I gonna do? Well, as you can see, I've got this, you can see all this dolomite right here. See that, nice solid dolomite. And then you have these, these lenses right here, right in between. And I'm gonna take samples from here and maybe up above, cause that stuff's pretty hard. And then uh, I'm gonna show you how to properly sample it and tag it so you know where it came from. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So I don't gotta say it, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <clears throat> uh, I'll tell you what, it work it. Okay. Uh, there's enough trash in here to choke donkey. All right, okay, so I don't know if you can see all that. Oh, I don't fall off this beam. 
Okay, see all that beautiful limonite all the way up? There's this huge lens right here. Now you can see the calcite crystals growing right up in there. See that? Of course, that other white material is the alkali. It's precipitating out of the rock because of the moisture. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is when you're sampling, you can either bring bags or five gallon buckets or three gallon buckets. I like bags because when I'm on a ladder, it's really hard to manipulate buckets. It's almost impossible. So what you're going to want to do is get you some coin bags and an old milk jug or one of these old Tide containers and cut, cut it all the way through like that. See that? You're going to cut a hole all the way through and then that way you can put it right in the bag and hold it up against the rock face like that. So when you're sampling, it just falls right in like a funnel and you can fill that bag up. And that's what we're going to do because I see some really nice, good deposits of limonite in here. You can tell by all these tags. So that's what we're going to do. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, let's go. <laughs> See how that acts like a funnel on there? Oh, I love that. So much easier. Goes right on in. See how that acts like a funnel? Okay, now, make sure, make sure you're wearing a dust mask. Because you don't want silicosis from all this. That'll ruin your mining days forever. All right, what do you do next? Well, next you got to remember where you got this bag. I like bringing GPS down here, photographing it. But what most miners will do is they'll bring down these little index cards like this. See that? And they'll take a pen. And they'll fill this index card out. I'll leave up a still shot of what it's supposed to look like. So here's my index card. And then of course also another good thing to have if you're prospecting a lot of deposits is also with your index cards, you're going to want a compass. I know it sounds weird down inside of a mine. Ah, let me move my leg and stiff. But this way you, you can note the, the strike angle, which is important because this vein might travel for a few hundred feet or a few hundred yards. You're going to want to know the strike and the angle. That's why a compass is so good. And then what you're going to do is when you pull a sample here, you're going to note the location of it. You're going to write that down on this small index card and you're going to put it in this sack like so. And then you're going to tie it up with a shoestring. And then you're going to get your next bag out and you're going to move down the line maybe about five feet and you're going to do the same thing again. That's if you think that this is a good vein. I mean, if you don't want to waste your time because you don't think it's good ore, then don't. But I can tell already that this vein has got gold in it. So what I'm going to do is I took a sample from here. I'll come up around the side of this, this column here and I'll pull another sample from right over there. And then I'll mark that and fill this bag up. And that's all we're going to do is two because I can't haul more than two bags up this ladder at a time. It's just too much work, even for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, let's do some mining. See where that, that lens right here is sitting on this bedding plane horizontally? I know there's going to be gold right in through here, right at that contact zone. Okay, so I'm going to take these samples out up to the surface. And if they can show promises of gold, I'll come back to the spots that I marked on my little index cards. And then we'll pull out even more. So you know what we say, huh? So come on. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I need a rope to pull this stuff up. Tell you what. Jeez. Uh, it's open. Gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, uh, the 
There better be some ah, gold in those bags. Ah. Whew. I don't care how you slice it. Whew. Gold mining is hard work. Make an old man out of you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Those bags are heavy. Whew. I got some good lime and I. I got one, I got two. Take a look at this. I got some nice pieces of lime and I. Look at that. There's one. There's another one. Look, I got all kinds of pieces of lime and I. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I got copper carbonate too. All kinds of copper carbonate laying around and down there. And see that? All that nice, beautiful lime and I. I'm gonna take it back and crush it. Woo! And I hope there's gold in there because I don't want to do that again. So what we're gonna do is take this back to the house and run it through the mill, crush it up, see if we got any gold. If there is, we'll open this up a little wider and put some bracing in there and then we'll mine the heck out of that van. If not, well, I guess the coyotes got a new place to live, huh? So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh.